uh, and this is the expansion valve and of course it helps to get a set of gaskets this is the one that I'm getting and I'll have this in the description too uh, I think I got this from Autohaus AZ it's got all kinds of gaskets and other stuff there uh, and the expansion valve is um, made in Germany uh, quite cheap instead of getting the Mercedes-Benz brand I think this is the ACM is the original equipment manufacturer for the expansion valve so it's just rebranded to MB and I'm giving the torque values throughout so so then there is uh, there is this one nut that you have to remove that uh, that holds the the bracket there's a bracket that holds the two lines the low and high pressure lines uh, this is a 10 millimeter nut you'll have to remove that and then you can pull the lines out and there are four gaskets involved here uh, two of them are attached to the lines and but uh, well uh, uh, these are some silicone um, stoppers that uh, I got from Amazon uh, all kinds of sizes you may have seen these in my other videos but uh, uh, try to if 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 you're if you're gonna do this over a couple of days I mean the whole job should not take more than a day it took me a day because I was recording but um, you want to plug the lines so nothing gets in <clears throat> so those are the two bolts uh, that you would have to remove with um, uh, uh, hex sockets torque value all of these bolts the three of them I mean the two bolts and the one nut that holds the bracket or at 10 newton meters the one on the lift is a little hard to get to uh, because of the dual valve uh, but that kind of moves it's not uh, it's not uh, as you can see here it's it's moving left and right so you uh, don't worry about pushing it a little to the left in order to get to make room so that the socket can go on a straight and when you tighten this, uh, you want to tighten the left side a little, the right side, the left, the right. So uh, that's what the Mercedes-Benz shop manual says. And so once you have removed the two hex bolts, then this comes out easily. Just pull it out and uh, then you'll see the other two gaskets uh, that are at the inlet of the evaporator housing and when you replace the gaskets add some pack 46 oil um, I mean just rub some oil on the gaskets the expansion valve is uh, is uh, uh, it's it's really a critical uh, the the reason I'm I'm replacing it is because the car was uh, again like I say 23 years old it had 2000 is 500 and so uh, based on what I can see none of these have been replaced in 23 years so it's not cooling as effectively as it has been uh, it hasn't been for the last three four years and I've been meaning to do this job for a while and finally I'm getting to it uh, it helps to have a pick or two and, and then you compare the sizes with the chart um, the ones that you remove may seem to be, um, you know, once you place it on the chart, um, may seem like um, they're the right fit, but it's best to just um, get the one that's just a little bit smaller. The <clears throat> expansion valve regulates um, the flow of refrigerant through the AC system, so too much uh, freon uh, flow and the evaporator core will freeze over 
too little and the evaporator coal will overheat and that will compromise the efficiency of the system. Um, it meters refrigerant uh, um, uh, uh, according to the evap uh, temperature and um, and also the load and the cooling demand of the system. Um, so some of the symptoms of a bad expansion valve or uh, uh, high, uh, high, high side pressure, frosty air coming from the vents, AC boils cold and hot, kicks in, the AC kicks in, the compressor and then immediately kicks off, uh, uh, things of that nature. But um, so, and and there are some other symptoms too. Uh, this is kind of hard because there is little room to play with, and uh, and uh, if you have somebody in the family or friends that um, have smaller hands, uh, then. Uh, you might want to employ their help. Um, I really found this to be the hardest part of the job. Next to pulling the deflector. And so you just press it in, uh, remove the paper backing on both ends, and then just replace the bolts and torque them to 10 Newton meters. And then uh, uh, bring the bracket over along with the lines, align them, press the lines in, and then um, tighten the nut that, um, that holds the bracket to the expansion valve. That's basically the reverse of uh, the removal. It's critical that you don't over torque this or under torque it. You must have a torque wrench because otherwise uh, when you when you connect the lines to the expansion valve as well as when you when you're replacing the receiver driver dryer and if you have to do the compressor or uh, any other component uh, condenser uh, that uh, the AC lines are connected to, uh, you have to torque them correctly. And therefore you need a torque wrench. It's a good investment. Um, if, if you do a lot of your own work on cars, uh, 